welcome to another episode of Beyond the Routine. Uh, today we're going to be talking about some tips that we have for people who wish to mine Ethereum and would like to flash uh, the BIOS of their GPU. Um, we're not going to walk you through step by step on how to flash your GPUs. Uh, there are plenty of videos on YouTube that you can find. However, after flashing many GPUs, um, here are some of the top five tips that we have for you. Number one, not all GPUs were made to be equal. Even within the same model, uh, different batches will perform differently. Manufacturers are free to change out the components within, and each component, like capacitors, resistors, the RAM, all have tolerance variables as high as 10%. So uh, when you combine all of them together, every single car that comes off the assembly line will perform differently. Um, so it is uh, very important to, if you want to get the most out of it, to take the time and fine tune each GPU to its maximum capacity without crashing your rig. Uh, number two, occasionally, um, manufacturers do make improvements on the same uh, product that they've been making. Uh, they either you know, fine-tune it at the factory level or uh, their engineers have developed uh, better BIOS. And so sometimes you get a later batch that performs better than an earlier batch. And uh, what you can do is we found that sometimes you can flash uh, the newer BIOS onto an older card of the same model to make that older card perform better. And it doesn't always work out the same, but uh, in our experience, a later BIOS that's more mature uh, can get you a little bit more hash rate uh, on the same model card. Now, always Tip number three, always save the original BIOS, either using uh, ATI WinFlash or uh, GPU-Z, but back up that original BIOS for each GPU. A little, a little bit of bookkeeping will help you down the road. Um, as you find one of these more mature BIOS, you can always go back, check your paperwork, check your record, Go back to one of your earlier cards and see which ones need maybe an additional flash. Uh, give that a try and then next thing you know you're going to get three or more mega hashes per second out of that older card of the same model. Um, sometimes manufacturers do change their BIOS um, for the same card and they optimize it for better performance. Uh, some cards that are, quote, overclocked or, you know, the special batches that they're hand-picked and whatnot, these are cards that uh, have gone through some fine-tuning at the factory level. Uh, if you're lucky and you get one of these, good, good for you. Um, next tip, don't freak out when you're trying to flash a BIOS, a new BIOS, and ATI when flash freezes. Non-responsive. Um, or it doesn't have a status bar that uh, you've seen in videos of people that uh, flash BIOS that is supposed to have a, uh, a blue status bar. Well, they don't always appear, and sometimes the, the flashing program does uh, take a pause, uh, freezes a little, but it will come back. Give it 30 to 60 seconds. Uh, usually, you see that uh, successful notice uh, that the BIOS has been uh, flashed successfully. So don't panic. Um, everything will be okay. And even when your Windows freezes during a BIOS flash, 9 out of 10 times, um, just restart your Windows back up and you'll be able to uh, resume where you left off. Uh, sometimes it just means the BIOS flashing didn't take. And many times the same card, if you flash it multiple times, every single time you might get slightly different result. Uh, from our experience, BIOS flashing 
and GPU manufacturing in general is not an exact science. Every single card is different, and you have to treat it as if every single card is different. Finally, number five, Frankensteins. These freak of nature cards uh, do exist. Uh, we've come across some already, and uh, those are cards, the GPUs, that as soon as you plug in, even without BIOS flashing, it's already performing at a rate that uh, usually you get only after a BIOS flashing. Um, the other day we got a uh, XFX uh, RX480 GTR 8GB Black Edition. I would plug it in even without any flashing whatsoever and it's already hashing at 30 point something mega hashes per second. Well, when you get one of these Frankenstein cards, don't do anything to it. Just be lucky, be happy, be grateful that you have one that saves you to work. You don't have to BIOS flash it because if you try to BIOS flash it just to see how far you can take it, well, chances are you're going to screw it up and even if you try to revert it back to the original BIOS that you saved for that uh, Frankenstein card, it's not going to be a Frankenstein anymore. So when you get a Frankenstein, leave it alone. Um, now, I said five tips, but here is an extra tip. The Frankensteins or not a Frankenstein, it doesn't matter, okay? Always test each card before and after you flash it, okay? Um, reason why? Because, not only because you might discover a Frankenstein, but also you will see when you flash enough cards that every, uh, that the flashing process, even though you follow it step by step, um, isn't always going to get you the same result. And sometimes you, you can cheat and you can... Uh, take a better resulted modded BIOS and flash it to a car that didn't take its own modded BIOS very well. Um, sometimes GPUs like other GPUs BIOS better than their own, so give that a try and might surprise and uh, surprise yourself and get something extra. Okay, and worst case scenario, you can always flash it back to its original BIOS and go from there. Well. Uh, there are many more tips that we would like to share with you, but we'd like to hear from you. Uh, so leave us a comment and below and let us know what topic you'd like us to cover for future videos. Uh, and we we'll always appreciate your suggestions. Uh, we read every single one of them, and when we do have an answer, we do reply. Um, and give it a shout out to our friend Mike at um, CryptoMind. Uh, go visit his channel. He always has really great step-by-step -step, uh, how-tos on uh, how to build your rig, how to modify them, how to BIOS flash them, how to fine-tune them, which we'll be making a video on how to use Afterburner to fine-tune the performance of each of your GPU in the near future. So, uh, if you like this video, like our channel, give us a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to our channel, and we look forward to seeing you again on the next Beyond the Routine. Thanks. Bye-bye.